Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got one of the blaster boxes of the debut edition of Capstone. It's a Panini product. Uh, these are 2022 trading cards. Um, I was actually really intrigued when this came out as a hobby about three weeks ago, roughly. Uh, we, did a we did a break of two hobby boxes. Uh, the hobby boxes run about $120, or they may have dropped a little bit by now. Uh, but at the time they were doing 120, you get two autos, two relic cards. Now I know it's Panini products, so they are unlicensed, and I know the draw is not really there for it. But the cards look nice. They have a nice thicker uh, card stock. Um, basically, all the cards need to go in 55 point top loaders, um, at least. As I bump the camera there. Um, but they're really nice, nice little thick stock. They got a nice shine to it, um, kind of like a like a Zenith from back in the day, um, if you're familiar with that product. But we will be finding uh, six blaster exclusive rookie, or look for blaster exclusive rookie material inserts. Uh, blue parallels are the blaster exclusive. Um, no pack odds like Panini products do, um, but we will find one autograph or memorabilia card per box. The one thing about the hobby boxes I did not like uh, between the two hobby boxes we opened. Uh, for eight hits between autos and relics, not one was numbered, which was kind of a disappointment. Um, and then we only pulled two numbered cards out of the whole uh, the whole uh, break. Um, I, I, could, I know one was numbered to 99, and I honestly can't remember what the other one was numbered to. But uh, so definitely a little disappointing. Um, we had some okay pulls, nothing earth shattering, but I don't know. Like I said, these cards are pretty sharp in my opinion. They have a nice little shine to them. So we got Kershaw to start off. We got Carlos Rodon, Jordan Rom Romero, Romano, excuse me. Drew Ellis is our blue parallel. And we got New Age, Trey Turner. This is one of the inserts. Like I said, I kind of like the inserts. Um, some of the inserts are actually kind of cool. And then here's the back of the card, too, in case anybody is curious what the back is, if you have not already seen these. but And like I said, they are a thicker card stock. Um, any ones you top load have to go into a 55-point top loader. Um, so, so nothing too, too crazy. Uh, so like I said, we should get a blue parallel per pack. And right, let's see. We got Trey Mancini. Vidal Brujan, and we got Aaron Ashby, and then it's a 200 card set if I'm not mistaken. First, 100, first cards 1 through 10 are this style, and then I think the ones that are 101 to 200 are this style, where they have like a little bit more of a design, a little bit of a short print. Anthony Rizzo is our blue parallel, and Velo, Mackenzie Gore is our insert this time around like i said some of the inserts like you know it's a sharp looking insert in my opinion um i know not everybody will like it just because it's a non uh, non-licensed product but it would be nice if we could pull an auto instead of a relic but we'll see what happens we got juan yapez rookie Luis rice our blue jacob the crumb and we got another blue behind that, Kershaw. And another Velo insert, Carlos Rodon. The blue, the blue font, or the blue print for the font looks pretty sharp, in my opinion. Um, with the black, with the dark black background, it does make it a little hard to read, but um, know, I'm trying to see if one of these, you know, these two kind of feel a little thicker. Let's just see. Like I said, we'll be nice to pull it on up. These are uh, these were $24.99 on Target's website. I believe they're the same price at Walmart. We got Alec Bohm, Ronzi, Ronzi Contreras, Josiah Gray. We got Marcelo Osuna, Blue, and Joe Ryan Velo for our insert this time around. So it looks like you probably get an insert per pack. I mean, I do like the design. Um, it's still kind of simple, but um, I don't know. I still like it. Yeah. 
Ronald Acuna Jr. Nestor Cortez. We do get a base Torkelson. All right. Then we got Jose Ramirez behind that. And Summit insert, Rafael Devers. So at least we get at least at least we get a base Torkelson. Um, I was kind of hoping at least to pull one of the, the top rookies. Here I am actually also trying to get a regular size top loader. Even though I did mention this already, that they the 50 uh, the, the standard top loaders do not fit these products. So Summit is our insert here, Rafael Devers. So that means that last pack should have our hit. Would be nice if it's an autograph, but we'll see if a relic or an auto. We got Bryce Harper to start us off. Nothing looks, doesn't look too thick, so maybe we at least pulled an auto. We got JP Crawford, Ryan Zimmerman. We got a blue Suzuki and Big Bang, Jordan. So uh, no auto. Which is on here. Find one autograph or memorabilia card uh, per box on average. So we did not get an auto. So a little bit of a disappointment. Um, like I said, I mean, we could have got pretty much a no name auto as well. But Big Bang, Yordan is our last insert. So overall, I mean, I like the product. I want to like the product. It's just with the, you know, with the lack of license, um, I don't want to open up more of this. Personally, what I'll do is I'll probably buy a couple of singles and call it a day, but the blue Suzuki is nice. We did get a base Torkelson. Um, unfortunately, no auto or relic, so kind of got hosed there. Um, as I'm just kind of just double checking myself if uh, I didn't accidentally miss the auto, but I'm pretty confident I didn't. Um, but overall, like I said, I do like the product. Um, it's just would have been nice if we got an auto or a relic. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on, the pro on this product. Uh, like I said, I know some people were really kind of hyped a little bit for this, and then the product came out and a lot of people were disappointed by it. Um, so like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this capstone product. I think it's kind of sharp, but, uh, but in the same time with it being unlicensed, I don't really have an interest in opening it really. Um, and then also too, if you're new to the channel, greatly appreciate you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And, uh, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching and hope you guys have a great night. Take care, everybody.